हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अशिता खेड़कर करेंटली परसों एमटेक आईटी फाइव ईयर इंटीग्रेटेड कोर्स फ्रॉम आईआरपीएस डीएवी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कोड बा व्हिच स्टैंड्स फॉर कॉमन ऑब्जेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट ब्रोकर आर्किटेक्चर व्हिच इज गाइडेड बाय आवर ऑनरेबल प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर नितिन नागर सो लेट्स क्विकली जंप इनटू द वीडियो सो द टॉपिक्स दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो आर व्हाई कोड बा व्हाट इज कोड बा how coba works key elements of coba application of coba features of coba and lastly we will conclude all the topics that will be covered in the video so the first question arises that why we are studying coba and what's the need of it because before starting any topic we should be clear about the why part so basically whenever a software is developed the biggest problem is that particular software is developed in different languages like c c++ java or any other high level language so it creates a problem of incompatibility it means whenever we connect the two systems for any data transfer or say any type of communication between the two systems then these two systems are found not to be compatible with each other so there is a lack of robustness and coba gives us robustness so in the year 1989 29 big mnc's took a decision against this issue no matter what on which tech stack a program or software is developed it should be compatible with each system created a platform called coba group organization of this mnc's is called object management group the first version of coba was released in 1992 as object management architecture guide further it was named to common object request broker architecture since now we are clear with coba and its history part let's now understand what coba actually is what is coba coba is a platform which supports multiple programming languages to work together successfully it is a mechanism in software for normalizing the method all semantics between application objects residing either in the same address space or remote address space it is a middle middle where neither two tier or three tier architecture the object request broker orb enables clients to invoke methods in a remote object it is a technology to connect to objects of heterogeneous types heterogeneous means objects of different kinds orb includes four components object request broker orb the object request broker orb handles the communication marshaling and unmarshaling of parameters so that the parameter handling is transparent for a coba server and client applications second one is coba server the coba server creates coba objects and initializes them with an orb the server places references to the coba objects inside a naming service so that clients can access them third one is the naming service the naming service holds references to coba objects the fourth one is the coba request node the coba request node acts as a coba client next we will be seeing the types of objects in coba there are two types of objects in coba first one is the service provider object and the second one is the client object service provider object object that includes functionalities that can be used by other objects and the client object is object that requires services of other objects here other objects means none other than service provider objects and next we will see how coba works what is ideal object request broker library and other key elements so let's first see what is ideal what is ideal ideal means interface definition language used to specify the interfaces which objects represent to the outer world coba specifies a mapping from ideal to a specific implementation language like c++ or java ideal compiler is a tool to implement coba and after seeing ideal we will be seeing the working of the coba this is the actual working of coba in this one side is the client side server 
machine and the second side is the server side machine in both the machines this both both machines take object request library and client sends a request to the server server receives a request from the client and then server sends a reply to the client and the client gets reply from the server this is how the corpa actually works let's understand the other key elements of corpa the other key elements of corpa are as follows orb core it carries out the request reply protocol between client and server second object adapter server bridges gap between the corpa object and programming language interfaces of the slave class third is the skeletons that is server ideal compiler generates skeleton classes in the server's language fourth client proxies stops generated by ideal compiler in the client language implementation repository activates register servers on demand and locates servers that are currently running sixth one is the interface repository provides information about register ideal interfaces to the client and server that requires and the next we will be seeing the applications of corpa corpa is used as rmi a remote method invocation of a distributed client server system enables communication between client and server on different os programming languages or hardware used in distributed application ideal for heterogeneous distributed systems like internet next we will be seeing the features of the corpa first one is the language independence corpa provides its users the flexibility for programming languages os independence corpa is available in java operating system independent linux unix windows mac etc freedom from technologies c++ legacy code can talk to c fortran legacy code and java slash database code and can provide data to a web interface from data typing corpa provides flexible data typing freedom from data transfer details corpa provides a high level of detail in error conditions last one is the compression corpa compresses its data in binary form so now let's summarize the things that we have learned today conclusion the common object request broker architecture corpa is a standard defined by the object management group that is omg that enables software components written in multiple computer languages and running on multiple computers to work together that is it supports multiple platforms corpa uses an ideal interface definition language to to specify the interfaces which present to the outer world so that's it thank you for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the like button